Hi there and welcome to the 2010 show. I'm Zaid Omar. This is your World Cup preview program. The 2009 FIFA Confederations Cup kicked off last weekend. All eight continental champions are on African soil and what a proud moment that is. But before we go any further, let's find out what's on the show today. One year to the 2010 FIFA World Cup is marked around the country. The Confederations Cup trophy reaches Parliament and we bring you an exclusive interview with Iraq head coach Bora Milutinovic. Uh, we're very excited to uh, arrive. Uh, this is a, a great opportunity for, for the United States team to uh, uh, play in South Africa, to uh, experience the conditions, the stadiums, and, and obviously we're up against some uh, terrific teams. Well, we've been looking forward to this tournament for a while now. Uh, we came off two important World Cup qualifiers, and uh, it's a busy summer for us, but I mean, we know this is a huge tournament, so we're pretty excited. Bueno, representamos a Europa, como representa Italia también como campeona del mundo. Y bueno, yo creo que lo que tenemos que tener es respeto a los, a los demás participantes y que aunque en ese papel de favorito vamos a intentar hacerlo lo mejor posible, pero eh, tenemos rivales muy fuertes ¿no? delante. Yo creo que lo más importante es que sea un buen torneo, una buena Copa Confederaciones. Um, okay, we come as uh, European champions, as do Italy come as world champions. Uh, we basically need to have respect for all the other teams. Uh... Sí, ahora mismo sí. Eh, en, en otros acontecimientos, España no había conseguido ningún título internacional y por mucho que nos pusiesen de, de favoritos, pues yo creo que no correspondía a la realidad. ¿no? A día de hoy España está colocada la primera en el puesto de ranking FIFA. Eh, ha sido campeona de Europa de, de naciones y ahora sí que venimos aquí con la idea de que somos uno de los favoritos ¿no? y que queremos pues, hacer algo grande ya que estamos jugando un torneo muy importante como puede ser la Copa Confederaciones. Um, yeah, of course, we are, uh, Spain comes very confident. Um, in past history, we never really did anything internationally. Um, but yeah, right now we come obviously as confident. We've won the uh, European Cup and we know we come as favourites. Yeah, I think that it's, it's a good test as well for the organisation uh, to see how is uh, all the facilities, all the, all the stadiums. Uh, looking forward to the next year's, next summer's uh, World Cup, that is going to be a massive challenge. But I think that uh, everyone is up to, to that challenge and, and hopefully everything will be fine. Uh, it's going to be interesting, of course, we'll have the last the last game of the group, uh, they will have the, the support of the crowd and, and I, I know a certain players of them, Morris, uh, Pinar, that we have, we have played so many times in, in the Premier League and in the FA Cup. So we are expecting a, a tough game and it's not going to be easy, of course.
دي اول مره ان انا هلعب هنا في في ساوث افريقيا بالنسبه لي يعني اول مره دي ان العب في ساوث افريقيا بس انا جيت ساوث افريقيا اكثر مره سواء ترانزيت او لمجرد زي ما بيقولوا فسحه آه طبعا ساوث افريقيا هنا معروف عنها ان هي بتحب الكره قوي So this is the first time he plays in South Africa like matches, but this is not the first time to visit South Africa. Sometimes he stopped here as transit for tourism, but this is the first time for playing and he knows very well that South Africa people are known to be so passionate about the game. أكيد طبعا يمكن إحنا هدفنا أو أو إحنا وجنوب أفريقيا طبعا يمكن هدفنا هو إظهار الكرة الأفريقية بشكل كويس. فأنا أتمنى إن إحنا فعلا نقول للعالم كله إن إحنا في أفريقيا. لا نقل عن الدول الأوروبية ونتمنى أن إحنا إحنا بطل أفريقيا لمدة دورتين ورا بعض ونتمنى إن شاء الله أن جنوب أفريقيا تظهر برضه بشكل كويس نسبة للعالم كله أن إحنا عندنا كورة عندنا كورة متقدمة ونكون ندي للفرق القوية اللي إحنا لعبها سواء إسبانيا سواء إيطاليا سواء البرازيل فنتمنى إن شاء الله أن إحنا نظهر قدامهم بشكل كويس Together with South Africa, Egypt and South Africa, for Egypt we are the African winners for the past two editions, South Africa are the hosts, so it's a very good chance for us as African countries to show the whole world how we can compete against strong teams and uh, it's also a chance for us to develop the best and show the quality of African football, how it has developed in the past years and playing against great teams. We hope we could, um, we and South Africa, South Africa playing against Spain and we are playing against Brazil and Italy. It's a chance for us to, uh, to show the world and we hope we can achieve good results um, for us, for, for Africa. Primeira vez que vem a África do Sul e a expectativa sempre é boa, a gente sempre espera o melhor e também com certeza todos estão bastante ansiosos. Hi, uh, this is my uh, first time in South Africa and uh, our expectation is obviously the best and that uh, everything goes well. In 2010 FIFA World Cup CEO Dr. Danny Yodan and the FIFA Secretary General Jerome Valk presented the 2009 FIFA Confederations Cup trophy to the South African President Jacob Zuma at Parliament. Take a look. Being from FIFA, every time we were coming to a country, people were saying, Welcome, FIFA. 
Now, I saw many of you, I'm sure you're going to play with me. But Mr. President, the trophy of this conversation is good. I'm not sure it's South African gold, but next time we'll do so. <laughs> but shortly, it's coming to you, and it's coming to South Africa. I'm so proud to do so. Well, thank you very much for, for this, um, good brother. Uh, certainly, this gold looks like South Africa. <laughs> But thank you very much for, for this camp. I think this is one of the most important indications that 2010 is here. The cup is here. Yeah. You cannot go away and be played for anywhere else except in South Africa. Yeah. And uh, while well, we have handed over the cup to South Africa, not so. Why should you play for it then? <laughs> I'm uncertain that Tebafan or Fan, wherever they are, they realize the cup is here, has been given to us. It cannot leave the country. It must remain here. But of course, uh, that remains with Bafan or Fan. And all of us behind them, supporting them to do very well and make us proud. Uh, you may not remember, Mr. President, but in 2003, you were the acting president to sign the guarantees to FIFA and ask FIFA to bring the World Cup to South Africa. <laughs> and now, today, you are the president to receive uh, this Confederations Cup, the first of two tournaments, the Confederation Cup and the World Cup in South Africa. Uh, and you are the president today, uh, and we are very happy. Uh, I know you've been a referee, Mr. President. I, I, I know that if you are the referee in this tournament, so will stay. <laughs> but I am on the own island, the match has always ended in dispute. So. <laughs> we, want, we want fair play in the confederation. <laughs> Ticket sales, are you happy with the way things have progressed in the considerations come? I think that there was quite a good progress uh, since last time. There is still a few tickets uh, for sale. Uh, we will be working and pushing hard in the next days. We are working also with the government who is uh, uh, giving us a strong interest to acquire a number of tickets. It's not a question of price at all. Uh, we have um, again allocated more tickets in category 3 and 4 than category 1 and 2 to make sure that we are bringing all the people who can afford a cheap price for tickets uh, for the conference. Cup. So we are doing our best uh, to make sure that the stadiums will be full. Again, I think that we have a week and we'll work, as I can tell you, uh, to make sure that the stadiums will be perfect. Is there a message you have out there for the football fans or the, or the message of South Africa? I mean, the message is that, I mean, it's a time we have to share all together and it's now, it's not tomorrow, it's now. I mean, we are a week away and then you have the World Cup, so we have to move on all together. 24 hours after the Confederations Cup trophy was presented to Parliament, South African President Jacob Zuma, along with delegates from the World Economic Forum and FIFA, toured the Greenpoint Stadium construction site as part of the occasion to mark 365 days ahead of the start of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Here's how it all unfolded. Mr. President, Premier, Mayor, we have a fantastic team effort before you. We have here the stadium which has got a capacity of 68,000. You can see the three tiers of seating, precast seating, which lie against the raking columns, 72 of them. The roof which is now progressing 72 trusses, 
supporting a glass roof, uh, which will in fact dampen the sound from the stadium in compliance with the environmental requirements. The pitch itself is being grown in Stellenbosch, but um, we have essentially a stadium here that is probably 72-73% complete. Still to be done is the facade that goes on the exterior, the fitting out, the completion of the roof, and then the laying of the pitch. And then, Mr. President, we are ready. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to call upon the President of the Republic of South Africa, President Jacob Zuma, to address you briefly, Mr. President. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much, uh, Director of the Program, the Secretary General of FIFA, Danny Jordan, our main man in the 2010 campaign. Deputy Minister of Sport of South Africa, Australia Stazen, the Premier of the Western Cape Province, Adam Zile, the Mayor of the city, the Cape Town, and the officials, and all other important personalities who are here. I think one thing certain, we have proved to the world that South Africans are special people. When we have challenges, we always rise to the occasion and meet our challenges no matter what type of challenges we come across. I think we've proved to the world that we are a country that must be counted on when we talk about countries that can do wonders. At the heart of those successes, it is in the main, you colleagues out there, the workers, who make it happen. When all the planners and everybody have done their paperwork, you put your strength, your sweat in an amazing fashion. The fact that we have built such a massive structure within a short space of time indicates how special you are. Danny was telling me that uh, there is a country that had deadlines that it could not meet its deadline. One of the first world, it only finished its stadium five years thereafter. You have made it. We have made it. Thank you very much to all of you. It has been wonderful indeed. Siabulela, my daughter, Siabulela, Paseben Zabasle. Thank you very much. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the highlight of this afternoon, which symbolizes 365 days to the kickoff of the greatest sporting event of the world, the Soccer World Cup. On here is the ball. I would like all of us to count down from 10 to zero, and 
I will blow the whistle to signal to the President to kick off 365 days to 2010. Can we start? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. have it. What an historical moment. 365 days ahead of the start of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Joining us now on the 2010 show is the Iraqi national team head coach Bora Milutinovic. Coach, thanks for joining us on the 2010 show. Thank you for inviting me. You've travelled the world coaching football teams nationally all over the world. At your age, what brings you back? There's one thing guaranteed in a football life's coach life is that you'll get fired. Why do you get back for more? So, uh, exactly, the football. This football is my passion. You know, I never think to be fired. I, I think that I enjoy my life with young people from Iraq. To share my experience early, I, I'm very happy to be in South Africa. Okay. Speaking of the Confederations Cup, you're here, to, you're here to participate as the head coach of the Iraqi national side. What do you think your chances are of actually lifting the title, going up against Spain, Brazil, Italy, South Africa, and the other champions of the world? You have all the chance. It's important to compete. Normally, you need to have the dream to go through. Normally, minimum, and you have the dream to make your effort, you try to everything to go forward. I know it's not so easy, but also for other teams, uh, it's not so easy. Now, you're playing South Africa, the home side, Bafana Bafana. How much do you know of South African football and of the South African national side? Normally, what I need to know, I know. Everything that I need to know about your country, your football, your coach, I think I know. So you're happy that you know enough uh, ahead of the match going up against him to ensure that you can uh, put one over them and, and actually beat them? But this is not me we go to beat, but normally we have our opportunity. Why? We go to play. Don't forget our team is champion of Asia. Uh, we have very good player. We work very, very good in the Qatar, in Aspire. The people from Qatar was very nice with us. They give us the best condition ever when I see to prepare the team. You know, with this weather, we bring nice weather. Why we don't go to dream? Now, looking at the other teams in the in the Confederations Cup, who do you think are favourites to actually lift the title? Do you think everybody has an equal chance? Well, difficult. Normally, we need to be realistic. Uh, my English is not so good to explain it, but the Spain is normally the big favorite, not only to beat, uh, to be winner in our group, also to be winner in the whole competition, but also we have Saudi, South Africa, we have New Zealand. If we need, all together, we need to fight for second place. How does a coach uh, approach a tournament like this of eight teams? What sort of tactical approach do you, do you, do you take in a small competition like this? But it's very easy. Win the game, win the point, you go through. <laughs> it's very easy to enjoy. I think for our players, it'll be a really great experience to play in the country we go to organize next year World Cup, best wishes for the World Cup. Uh, normally, you, you need to have confidence. You, know, you, need to, uh, you, you need to do everything, your effort, team effort, attitude, everything, small details, but it's important. You know you're in Cape Town, which is one of the the most beautiful cities in Africa. In the world? Yeah, in the world, definitely. Thank you very much, I'm from Cape Town. Uh, what do you think of the infrastructure and the facilities 
as a host nation, uh, look, having looked at Cape Town. But normally when you make comparison with the other country, it depends with which country you make comparison. But what is important first to think of the people from Africa, from the people of South Africa, you need also what is important that they, all these people make great effort to make uh, one great World Cup. For this, uh, we need to support the people from the South Africa. In normally, I'm sure everything will be perfect next year. Now, you, you've been appointed the coach of Iraq for the Confederations Cup. What after the Confederations Cup for you as a coach? First, please give me a chance to enjoy the Confederation Cup after I go to tell you. But now it's very soon. Normal. Uh, the, the dream of the Iraqi people is to make something great, like 2007 when Iraq won the uh, uh, Asian Cup. This is the, 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 that's something so nice for the country. I'm sure our players go to to have this motivation to give uh, pleasure to the people from uh, Iraq. Okay. What, 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 do you, what, what has attracted you to the job of coaching the national team of Iraq? The players, uh, the country, why did you accept the, the position? Everything. Country, challenge, player, South Africa, everything, small, small, small. But really, I, I think I'm very unfortunate. How you say, happy. I'm a happy man. They call me, I was free. I, I, I accept this challenge with uh, pleasure. The, the World Cup coming up next year in South Africa, I'm sure you'd like to be part of it and actually be coaching uh, one of the teams of all Iraq at, at the World Cup? Uh, the destiny, you never know. If the destiny was to be in the World Cup, I was happy to uh, be in the World Cup five times. Six times, it was incredibly good. You're very lucky to be able to have coached that. Uh, so many teams in the, at the World Cup, it is, must have been a fantastic experience. Fantastic experience, but I think also they was lucky to have Bora. You know, that this is good combination. <laughs> Coach, thanks for joining us on the 2020 show. Mandy, good luck. Good luck in this competition. Good luck for World Cup. I hope the world will go to enjoy this competition in next year World Cup. Thank you very much. That was the head coach of Iraqi national team. Next, we go for an ad break. That brings us to the end of yet another episode of the 2010 show. If you would like to comment or make contact with us, you're welcome to email us on info at 2010show.co.za. And of course, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest ahead of the biggest sports event to be held on African soil for the first time ever, join us every Wednesday, 7.30. Until next time, bye for now.